Today we are doing PRP for hip dips. I've already drawn my patient's blood, spun it down and got her platelets all concentrated. We marked out where her hip dips are and I put a little lidocaine right there so that way we are, she's nice and numb. I'm gonna do this with a cannula because it'll be much easier on her, less risk of bruising, etc. So I'm just gonna make myself a little channel. Can you fill that? No, I'm gonna say no, so we're gonna do that. And ignore the cannula, really. But we're gonna go in through the channel. All right, Doo -doo 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 -doo. a little pressure, think happy thoughts. You got this. So you can do PRP anywhere. This is a, a great place to do it. Because what PRP will do, just like in the breast, in the face, anywhere we do PRP, they, the platelets will signal to your stem cells to migrate to where the stem cell, to where the platelets are, and your stem cells we become brand new tissue. So this is a great area to do it in. I know people don't think about hip dips very much, but uh, it's going to be also excellent for her stretch marks that she's got here. So. We have a few markings as to where we were designing together, where we were gonna treat. So that's why there's a couple of different marker markings on there. And, okay, beautiful. You doing okay? Yeah. We're gonna continue to inject and we're gonna put some platelet pour plasma in here too. Because although it's platelet pour, it's still got good stuff in it. Mm -hmm. All right, she's doing so great. So. This is another option to Brazilian butt lift, just because the surgery does, you know, there's risks with surgery, so there's no risks with this. You might get a bruise, but okay. It's not, you're not gonna die. There's no anesthesia other than the little injection of lidocaine. Mm -hmm. And Overall, I'm gonna say it's pretty comfortable. I'm gonna go all the way down here. All the way down there. And I have a little tiny bit that I wanna put a little tiny bit lower that I can't quite reach. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of lidocaine for a sec. And I just can't get that little far spot that we decided to get at. So we're gonna do a little lidocaine. One, two, three, la la la. is super strong. She, nothing bugs her. Can you feel here? No. Beautiful. Boom, boom. Perfect. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go this direction. You got it. We don't like to leave any playlists behind is what I say. So that is it for that side. So we're gonna go over to the other side in just a sec. And we'll do it. Boop, boop. All right. So we're going to do some PRP here. Go in through here. The other things that you could do in the bum for hip dips would be radius, which helps stimulate collagen, like PRP, it just does it differently. You could put Sculptra in the bum, which again helps stimulate collagen. It's all about stimulating that collagen. And how can we do that best? So it's never wrong. I always tell people, whatever you choose is not gonna be wrong. It's just gonna be a different way of doing things. That's all. And so it all builds on each other. I personally like when people do a bunch of different things. So maybe this time do PRP. Next time maybe you'll do Sculptra. Maybe next time you do Radius, but um, Typically for PRP, you know, you can do it as often as you want. Usually, I recommend repeating it in about 18 months. Um, the Sculptra is typically eight vials per side and then repeating it in a couple years. Radius is usually 10 syringes per side and repeating it in a couple years. So 
And it all builds on each other. Okay, now we're gonna put the P, P, P in. Excellent. So that is it for injecting PRP and PPP for hip dips. Anyway, so if you wanna find out if, if uh, PRP is right for your hip dips, come see us at rejuvenationmdmedspa.com.